Developing now, several politicians at the state and local level could have their jobs in jeopardy over a new law set to go into effect at the end of the year. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live in Miami with the last-ditch effort to reverse course. Hatzel. Nicole, talk about political upheaval. Several politicians, not just here in South Florida, but throughout the state, possibly having to step down unless a federal judge steps in. Three South Florida politicians, Republicans and Democrats, now fighting a law that is making them choose between holding public office and their lobbying jobs. The lawsuit filed in federal court alleges the state law signed by the governor back in May unjustifiably and unconstitutionally restrict plaintiffs' core political speech rights, associational rights, and rights to petition the government in violation of the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Some of the plaintiffs in this case, Rene Garcia, currently Miami-Dade County Commissioner, former chair of the Republican Party here in Miami-Dade, Garcia, according to the lawsuit, is also executive vice president of New Century Partnership, a business consulting firm that offers lobbying services. Javier Fernandez, a Democrat, currently mayor of South Miami, previously a member of the Florida House and now attorney with a law firm where he represents clients before county and municipal boards. And then there's Crystal Wagger, current councilwoman in Miami Shores, also an employee at Southern Group, a lobbying firm. In 2018, Florida voters approved Amendment 12, which basically says public officers are prohibited from engaging compensated lobbying. The law goes into effect December 31st. We recognize, and I think everyone recognizes, that, that lobbying um, is, is not something that can be unregulated, but the regulations of lobbying need to be consistent with the First Amendment. While not listed in the lawsuit, school board member Luby Navarro is also dealing with the same dilemma. Navarro is a registered lobbyist for the South Broward Hospital District. Within days, you could have political vacancies throughout South Florida, allowing the governor to fill those posts. By the way, Navarro hasn't responded to our request, uh, trying to figure out how she plans to move forward. But here's what happens next. There's a hearing here at federal court tomorrow morning, 1130, before Judge Bloom. We will, of course, be there to cover it. For now, reporting live from downtown Miami, I'm Hatsofala, Local 10 